In this tutorial, you'll learn how to move an airplane on the ground, or taxi. Taxiing is important since you'll have to get from your parking spot to the runway in order to take off and back after you land. You'll be practicing your taxiing skills in several aircraft, but we'll start with the familiar trike ultralight. You're starting in spot plane view in this tutorial, so it's easy to see where your aircraft is. Use your joystick's hat switch or the mouse to look around your plane. To begin taxiing, start the engine and nudge the throttle up just a little to start moving. Use the throttle and brakes to control your speed. You don't want to taxi much faster than 5 miles per hour. To turn while taxiing, twist your joystick or press 0 or enter on your keyboard's number pad. Good job! You can save a mission in progress at any time by pressing the semicolon key. Saving is useful if you don't have time to complete an entire mission or if you've just made it through a difficult part. That way you don't have to refly the whole mission if you make a mistake. In this tutorial, you might want to save the mission each time you switch to a new airplane. Up ahead is the Piper J3 Cub. Move close to it and we'll switch you into that aircraft for a bigger challenge. Great, you're now in a Piper Cub. The Cub is a bit more difficult to handle than the Ultralight, but not much. Great job taxiing. Up ahead is a Douglas DC-3. Move close to it so you can get some experience taxiing in a big plane.
All right, you're now in a Douglas DC-3. Your goal is to taxi to the beginning of the runway and take off. The DC-3 is a more difficult plane to taxi. Unlike the ultralight and the Cub, this plane relies a lot more on using the brakes to help you swing the tail around. Slow down. Going too fast while taxiing can be dangerous. The DC-3 has a tailwheel lock, which makes it easier to taxi. With the lock off, like it is right now, the tail can swing freely during turns. With the lock on, it's easier to taxi straight ahead. Taxi slowly. Fast movements increase the possibility of tipping over. Press Shift G to lock or unlock the tailwheel. Make gentle movements. Remember, your goal is to take off once you're on the runway. Taking off in the DC-3 is easy. Just line up with the runway and push the throttle forward all the way. Pull back on the stick when you're going about 60 miles per hour. Try to stay on the concrete. Pull back now to take off. Try to stay on the concrete. Congratulations, you're in the air flying the DC-3. Feel free to keep flying or press escape to end the mission.